Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe my channel if you do not want to miss a single lecture of this series. Today we will discuss about the overview of electron microscopy. So till my last lecture of the microscopy lecture series, we talked about different types of light microscopy. Now we will proceed beyond light microscopy. Electron microscope is not a light microscope. Now before starting the electron microscope, please have a look on basic properties of microscope. If you are not done yet, I am providing the link in the description box. So first of all, most light microscopes can only magnify up to 1500 eggs. Whereas an electron microscope can magnify 1 lakh eggs. And resolution that is R is is equal to lambda by 2Na where lambda is the wavelength of light, Na is numerical aperture. Now we have learned higher the resolution clear the image. Now resolution depends on two things. Wavelength of light and numerical aperture. Now, smaller the lambda, better will be the resolution and the image will be more clear. And larger NA is equal to better resolution that will give you clear image. So, here you may become confused that smaller lambda and larger Na gives smaller R value than larger lambda and smaller Na. But remember it, smaller R value is actually needed for better resolution. Because smaller the R value, we can differentiate two points which are more close to each other. So in this case, smaller R value means better resolution. Now in electron microscope, we use electrons instead of light energy to make the sample visible. Normally in light microscope, we use white light or UV light. So that has wavelengths of 100 to 700 nanometer. So white light has wavelengths of 400 to 700 nanometer, whereas UV light has wavelengths of 100 to 400 nanometer. Whereas in case of electron microscope, we use flow of electrons and electron has wavelength of 0 0.005 nanometer. So now you can imagine wavelength of electron is much more less than the wavelength of light that will ultimately produce much better resolution than UV or visible light. Right? So higher magnification and greater resolution these two features make electron microscope best. Now, two major advantages of electron microscope are it has much higher magnification and it has much higher resolution. The only disadvantage of electron microscope is that it cannot display living specimens in natural colors. Hope you understood the concept. If you liked my lesson, please do like, comment and share my video. Thank you.